Hi students, let us solve this exercise about angular momentum. Uh, in this case, they say what is the angular momentum vector of the 2 kilograms and 4 centimeters diameter rotating disc that is given uh, below. Uh, give your answer using univectors. So what they give us, they give us a solid disc that is rotating at 600 revolutions per minute, right? Uh, clockwise. Okay, so the first that we're going to do is just, of course, uh, express you know uh, the uh, angular momentum uh, as a function of the angular velocity and the uh, moment of inertia. So the angular momentum, which is a vector, will be equal to the moment of inertia times the uh, angular velocity. Right, so the direction of the angular momentum and the direction of the angular velocity, right, is going to be uh, basically the the same in this case, right? Now, uh, if we apply the uh, right hand rule, right, to determine the direction of the um, angular velocity, we're going to see how the direction of the angular velocity vector is pointing. Uh, against the direction of the x-axis, right? So it's, it's going to be in this direction, your angular velocity vector. And that would be also the direction for the angular momentum, right? So the angular momentum vector, right, would be also in that same direction. You know, to determine those directions, what you have to do is to apply the right-hand rule, right? Now, <clears throat> what else do we know here? Uh, we know uh, the mass and the diameter of the solid disk. So we know that for a disk like this, the moment of inertia would be equal to 1 over 2, the mass times the square of the radius, right? So we know the mass is uh, 2.0 kilograms, and we know the radius, right? would be 2 centimeters, right? 2.0 centimeters, the radius, because the diameter is 4.0, which is in meters, uh, 0 0.02 uh, meters, right? So we can now calculate the uh, moment of inertia, which is 1 over 2, times 2.0 kilograms, times uh, 0 0.02 meters, square right so we are gonna find here that the moment of inertia for this solid disk is gonna be 4.0 times 10 to the negative 4 uh, in this case uh, kilograms meter square so we found already you know the uh, moment of inertia now we need to find the magnitude of the angular velocity, right? They say that the disk is rotating at 600 revolutions per minute. So if we want to find the angular velocity, we say that the angular velocity is equal to 2 pi n, where n is going to be equal to the 600 revolutions per minute, right? So we're going to say that this is 2 pi times uh, 600 uh, revolutions per minute but now we're going to convert these minutes into seconds because we want to get the angular velocity in radians per second so we're going to multiply times you know uh, one minute and a half 60 uh, seconds like that we're going to cancel you know uh, these minutes here uh, these 2 pi is 2 pi radians per revolution so uh, the revolutions are going to be cancelled with the revolutions of these 2 pi radians per revolutions. So we're going to have 2 pi radians, right, times 600 divided by uh, 60, right? So if we just calculate that, we're going to get that the angular velocity here would be 20 pi radians per second. So now we know uh, the angular velocity and we know the moment of inertia. So we are ready to find the magnitude of the angular momentum. So we say that the angular momentum is I times omega. So it's going to be, in this case, 
uh, i which is 4.0 times 10 to the negative 4 uh, kilograms meters right mm, kilograms meter meter square sorry there is a meter square here kilograms meter square uh, multiply by 20 pi uh, radians per second so uh, the magnitude in this case of the angular momentum right would be um, like 251.3 times 10 to the negative 4 right kilograms meter square per second okay so we're gonna write this in scientific notation so it would be 2.5 and with two significant figures 2.5 times 10 to the negative 2 kilograms meter square a uh, second now this is the magnitude of the vector angular momentum uh, now if we want to write the angular momentum using univectors so as a vector we can say that the vector angular momentum is equal to uh, the univector i will be pointing in this direction here right in the positive direction of the x-axis so my angular momentum is pointing in the opposite direction so it will be minus univector i right so it's minus 2.5 times 10 to the negative 2 i right and the units are in kilograms mirror square seconds this is then the magnitude of the angular momentum so the negative sign is because it's in direction opposite to the direction of the unit vector i all right so this is the value of angular momentum for this problem uh, thank you for your attention and again i invite you to uh, subscribe my channel and support uh, the work that we're doing here thank you